Welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to show you a complete dynamic based CRUD web application dashboard which is completely made by using the Google Sheet as a database and Google Web App Script. So in this dynamic web application dashboard, web app dashboard, we have a lot of features which can solve your CRUD related issues 99% and related to dashboard as well. You don't need to write any single line of code. Everything is controlled by using the Google Sheet or your front end interference. Okay, how is this possible? I will show you. So you can see we have a filter options and we have a chart options where we can uh, show the visualizations of the data so how you can add more visualizations and how you can add the more filters here okay so how you can add the more filters here so i will show you everything step by step so first of all we will going to be started from the logout we just simply log out from our system and you can see we are successfully being logged out and here we have some options we have the register option where we can register the account because this is just basic functionalities you know how it will work in every project we have this and this is a login and this is a forgot password with otp verification so we just come to here and log in with the admin details okay so this is a admin right now you can able to see here this read only or allowed sheet columns is very important for the user i will explain you that as well so right now i am logging as a admin so you can see i just entered my admin login credentials and i am successfully being logged here okay and i am successfully being logged here so you can see this is a database one database two and database three what exactly is this so these are the your sheets database one database two and database so one question uh, my, uh, my sir uh, if I want to add a database for and if I want to change the name how I can do it let's take example I will change it MRI 1 okay MRI 1 that's fine sir but sir one more question I have if I forget to add the gender here so I just simply just uh, click it here and insert one column left or here I just enter here the gender yes the gender now on the front end in our data will be updated when we refresh and it will be not log out okay so you can see it will just refresh and you can see here uh, in the sidebar we have just changed our sheet name that particular sheet name will be shown here so this is mri1 okay so we have added the gender so in the add record option we also have the gender here okay we also have the gender here okay one more thing these are the columns and we have the name phone gender email and how we can setting them okay what kind of settings such the field settings okay so you can see here there is nothing about related to gender okay i just simply click on this add new setting and the field name what is the field name i just copy this particular field name and paste it here so what is this field this field is a multi select drop down drop down or url file upload or auto increment id if it's auto increment id it will automatically add one in your previous number so right now in our case it's a gender so it's a drop down okay placeholder text we just simply say here select we just simply say here select gender we just simply say select gender what is male comma female male comma female that's fine required field or not field add a filter for this field you want to add a filter yes i want to add a filter for this field and if you want to add a show but a uh, chart type what type of chart pie chart or donut chart i want a donut chart okay and click on this add setting so when you click on this add setting in our all the database uh, whether it is mri1 database 2 and database 3 or if you want to add a one more database you can simply add a one more database here let's take example this is mri2 okay this is mri2 okay fine so you can simply select it here the gender okay now you will be okay and i just refresh my web application again so you can see here we have added one more database and we can easily see here in our sidebar this is the mri2 so let take example i just add a new record in the gender we have added a drop down it's a drop down male or female we can select it here male okay that's fine we can enter here the amount and the date everything we will select here active inactive and everything we will do it here no worries about it and if you want to upload any particular item or file you can also upload them so i just copy this and open this here and uh, when i open so now you can easily able to see here it's first it will be uploading then this will be converted to the url and that url will be placed here okay so it's uploading we will be wait for it's uploading here so you can see here uploading is complete and file is successfully being stored in our google drive so if you don't worry about it it will automatically create a assets name folder in your google drive and you can simply click on this and you just need to enter here the name as well and click on this add new record so when you click on this add new record your record will be added in your database okay so you can see here 
add new record and our record will be added in our database here so you can see our record will be added it here successfully and now we just simply click on this cancel okay so now you can easily able to see here in the mri2 we have in the mri2 the gender column as well so this is active so when i just simply click on this here i just simply here mail and click on this save changes so when i click on this save changes it's updating the record and the record updated successfully so you can see here in the show charts you can also see the data visualizations here in the filters we also have the mail and gender okay so you can see uh, if you want to select any particular you can simply check mark them okay in the same in the database three you can see like that okay you understand it and in the theme section what is exactly in the theme section so let's take example uh, i want to show you this is a mri2 in the mri2 we have a mail keyword so i just copy this mail keyword go to the theme section and when i go to the theme section and click on this add new theme and uh, just paste it here mail and what kind of color i want it here i want it here this kind of color okay that's fine and you can see mail will be showing like that and click on this add theme so when i click on this add theme my theme is added out successfully and i just go to the mri2 database and now you can able able to see here the mail will be shown in this particular button so one more feature one more updation we have done in this dynamic red web application we have added in any column if you have a url it will be show something like that like you can see in our mri1 section so this is our mri1 section this is the data we have just added it here and its image and if i want to delete this particular data i can simply delete that particular data as well so what i can do i just simply click on this import okay import and you can see here i select a choose file but i don't have right now any file so what i can do i simply click on this export so when i click on this export so now you can see here mri export is done and uh, i will just simply delete this particular data from here and just come to here and import and choose file and in my download sections i just uh, uploaded the file which is recently downloaded and here merge and update duplicates or skip duplicates i will select it here merge and update but before that i want to show you that there is no data in our mri1 database no records i just simply click it here and uh, select my file and merge and update duplicates and click on this import so when i click on this import as of now you can able to see here the data is importing to our google sheet and now the imported five records updated zero and skipped I want to show you uh, again I just simply choose the same file and uh, just select here skip duplicates because this is the data we have uploaded it means all the data is already exist on our other sheets mean these are the duplicates data so I just simply click on this import I want to show you the skip duplicates so you can see skipped file because all the data are already available all are the duplicates so it will be the skipped here okay so in the setting sections you can easily able to see here something like that uh, you can amount uh, add filter and everything but what about the users i want to show you uh, in the uh, start of the video i will tell you the read only or allowed sheets here okay so what exactly is this feature so let's take example this is a user so this is a read only yes this is a read only and what exactly this will be get the mri1 or mri2 and click on this update user so when i click on this update user as of now you can able to see here the database one and mri1 and mri2 so i just remove this from here the database one and now you can able to see here i can only access the mri1 and mri2 i just copy my user details here and just log out from here and click on this yes log out and uh, i just refresh my web application again so when i refresh my web application so now you can able to see here i just enter my username here and this is my password i just come to here and paste it here and click on this login so when i click on this login so this is my user okay so this is my user login user can only access the mri1 data and mri2 data okay so this can be uh, what is this this can be only access this can be only read the data but not add the data but if i do the uh, here's the remove this and refresh my web application so now you can easily able to see here uh, this user can easily add the data or update the data and everything you can able to done it here so i just simply add it here f a l s e false okay f a l s e false okay and I just log out from here and uh, I just log out because I want to refresh my web application and I just copy my username and password and paste it here and I just copy my password again and again I paste it here and click on this sign in so when I click on this sign in as of now you can able to see here now this particular user have the import export and add feature but why the data is not being shown here because you can see in MRI12 created by admin or user and if we add a username here this is a username I just copy this particular username and uh, paste it here 
let's take example i will paste it here and again i will paste it here okay that's fine and now when i go to the mri1 so you can see here the data visibility you are viewing only your own records you will create visible only to you by administrator okay so you can see this is the uh, thing we have the gender the email the amount the status and these are our the filters so you can see you can uh, the user can only able to the user can only able to see their own records let's take example i will make it again true okay i will make it again true i will make it again true and ref and just log out from here and uh, when i log out from here so i just copy my username or password here and paste it here and again i just copy this uh, here and paste it here and click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in as of now you can able to see uh, there is no button available import export but i can only able to read the data but cannot update or delete the data so this is our complete dynamic uh, web application dashboard with a lot more visibility a lot more functionalities uh, what kind of functionalities i will explain i will explain you again so add new setting in the field type auto increment id file upload we have added multiple features image pdf document excel url multi select drop down and the simply drop down text area and everything we have added it here so hope you like this update and you like this concept and if you want a interesting topic video you can comment in this video so we will create definitely so we thank you very much take